My next guest this morning, he is an internationally acclaimed photographer who comes to us from Finland. He's been able to spend the past month in Key West drawing inspiration from the colorful sights, the fascinating people, and the remarkable culture of the island. You might just recognize some of his subjects. Kurt, it is a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you for being here this morning. Now, I just showed our viewers a slideshow of portraits that are going to be in a project that you're working on since you arrived here in Key West. You've been putting this together. Who are these people? Uh, they're really, it's a, a random assortment. I go out and set up the camera and encourage people who I pass by to, to spend five or ten minutes and sit for a portrait. I don't know them. Obviously, being a small island and having been here a number of, a number of times, I, I, I run into people I know. Mm -hmm. But no, it's not constructed. Okay, so there's, these are just some random people that you mm -hmm. found, but you do have a mission with this project, Kurt. Um, yeah, but I always find it better not to, to close yourself down, particularly when you're starting off, which is actually not starting off. I've been doing it for about six years. But I... Uh, I, it's grown. I mean, I, I came as an artist to the studios of Key West and did portraits then and became involved with a literary seminar and have done work with them um, for five years, I guess, uh, subsequently. Um, and th those pictures of the writer were sort of very clear what, what they were for and, and um, what my approach was. I'm very interested in the island and um, is we're, I think we we're talking about the inter internet you know, with everything being so ubiquitous. You know, we're all on the e on the ether of the internet. You can find you know a China, someone in China can find me on Facebook. The, the, I, what I was interested in was was trying to in some way uh, portray, define an island community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know the ambition, as I said, it, 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 nothing more than that. At least that, at this point. Kurt, I've been looking at some of your past work, too. I'm very impressed. Thanks. I, I love all of your photographs. They're all beautiful. How long have you been doing photography? Well, I, I started taking, I got my first camera when I was 12, and I was really pretty sure at that point that that's what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. Um, it, it was really, that was... There was nothing else that ever, you know, pulled me, called me the way the photography did. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely been your calling, and it obviously is one of your gifts. Now, Kurt, you've been to Key West, like you mentioned, many times before. What's your favorite part about this island? Well, of course, the studios <laughs> and the literary <laughs> seminar. Um, you know, I got to say that they, the music. Um, what I like is the sense of. I'm really amazed at how welcoming, uh, open it is, and that sounds like a, you know I'm, I'm plugging the travel board, uh, the tourist board, but it, it's it. I think it's because it's a transient community. People really are open, much more so than any other place I've been. Um, it, it's um, it's very easy to to get comfortable here. I mean, by that or to feel at home. Um, I've got, I've got as many art buddies here as I do in New York, you mm -hmm. know, it's really great. And it's wonderful for music, I mean, you know, the Green Parrot's got to be one of the best bars in the world, mm -hmm. and fabulous music. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a very easy town, I mean, it's, it's you know, laid back, people really, 
they, you have a sense of giving each other space. I, I mean, um, as long as you don't get into each other's way, pretty much people seem to do whatever they want. Mm -hmm. It's great. They kind of do their own thing, don't they? Uh, they certainly do <laughs> if you walk along Duval Street. <laughs> You'll see lots of characters. Kurt, would you say that you've gained even more inspiration on this trip than in trips in the past? It's always hard to say, you know, what what indicates a period of growth. I mean, often you're you're doing your most growth when, when you're absolutely sedentary. You know, that's when you're sort of contemplating the ideas. This one's been very productive. It it it, it a lot of ideas that I had sort of been going over sort of came together. Um, initially, I thought of doing this portraits in black and white. Um, and I, I shot for a week and then edited them, looked at them black and white, and it, it seemed to me just, you know, obvious that the absence of color was, you know, a huge mistake mm -hmm. you know, with what I wanted to do with the island. Um, it's not something that's tropical, it, it is colorful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and I, I was, I shoot in color and then convert the pictures to black and white. I, you know, prior to, to converting them, I, I realized there was no reason that I should. Mm -hmm. No, you did a good choice with, the, <laughs> with keeping them in color. I like them. Thank and you. I look forward, Kurt, to seeing some more of the portraits sure. that you have taken. So mm -hmm. you'll have to send it to us when you're back in Finland, because that's where you're going next. Of course, that's home. Yes, I live in Helsinki, but I spend a lot of time in New York. Mm -hmm. um, it's, that's, you know, it's, that's home. I was born and raised there. Mm -hmm. so. Well, hopefully you'll come back soon. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> hope to see you then. All right, Kurt, thank you so much for being on this morning. And, of course, if you want more information on Kurt, just check out his website that you see on the bottom of the screen. I'm going to take a quick break right now. There's more to come this morning.